Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 2nd, 2021. Yesterday, we had that typical pre-market pump, and then we just kind of went dead for the day. We spent an awful lot of the day just kind of drifting along sideways, chopping around. Um, the QQQ actually had a pretty good morning, but by the end of the day, just barely squeaked out that new record high in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Yesterday, we kind of ignored the big miss on the ADP number. We ignored the big negative number that came in on mortgage applications, and we just continued to push to the upside. Yet, we ended up with a little bit more of a muted day. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the day. First off, um, I'm going to kind of repeat this in the chart here in the Dow. We still remain in a very bullish upside trend, and we're holding in a price range that doesn't hurt us at all. As a matter of fact, this is actually a productive consolidation here in the Dow remaining in that bullish pattern. So we have this productive consolidation. We do have that challenge up here, this resistance high that we haven't been able to sneak up there and, and get going. As a matter of fact, it's been kind of an interesting thing to watch as the QQQ rises, the Dow struggles to find enough energy to move. And then when we get the Dow moving up, the QQQ sinks. It's just like this orchestrated thing that continues to seesaw back and forth in the market. But having said that, I don't think there's going to be any problem here in the Dow negatively unless we were to break the low of that that candle right there. If we were to sell off and break below there, that would engage this support level and this trend and probably put a little bit of stress on the market. But unless that um, fails, probably no harm here comes to the Dow. So keep a close eye on that. We are definitely within striking distance of new record highs here in the Dow. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY has been very, very bullish and it, it's largely been, if you've looked at any of the heat maps and things out there, it's largely being lifted by big tech. Big tech is doing the majority of the job and it's only about nine companies out there that it's doing, that's really gaining all of the energy of the market. And as you can see, we've been rallying, rallying, rallying. Yesterday we had just a little bit of selling after we popped up initially in the morning, just kind of resting. And I think that might be just a little bit of concern a um, little bit of uncertainty as to how these numbers the next couple of days will come out. And we'll talk about those here in just a second. But having said that, our SPY definitely moving up in a trend. We are certainly kind of at the top of the range here in that move. But this little consolidation could be productive. If we can find that bullish inspiration in here, we could certainly pop up and move on higher. We also run that possibility that we could just consolidate here, just rest for some period of time to kind of catch up on this big move that we've made here in the market. Or if we were to slip back, we're gonna, going to want to watch um, these support levels in here. If we were to slip back below here, um, that would probably add a little bit of stress to the market, but I don't think it'll be um, anything major unless we start breaking down some of these um, lows that we see here. Um, just that one little day of pullback here in the market. Don't think that'll add too much stress unless we start popping down through there. And right now there is no evidence that that is going to occur. Let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ also um, exceedingly bullish, um, extremely bullish, I would say. Um, we are really stretched out here um, 
in the NASDAQ with those big techs. Now, everything else isn't really stretched, but those big techs themselves have just been stretching and stretching and stretching to the upside. There seems to be a willingness, no matter what price they are, to buy them right now. And that that does add a little bit of worry in the market that what happens if we start getting some profit taking coming in these charts. So watch that carefully. But right now, bulls are definitely in control. We're really, really steep in this rally. And we are a long ways from this price support. And other than this little resting period in right in here, um, a pullback in the NASDAQ could be pretty substantial if it does begin and it could be swift and it could be painful. But right now they show no signs of pulling back. As a matter of fact, squeaking out a new record high yesterday and look what we've got going on here this morning. We've got the pre-market pump uh, pushing and pushing and pushing this morning for more record highs here in the queues. So right now bulls are definitely in control. The one thing you want to be paying attention to is just not to become overly complacent here in case we do happen to stumble in this really, really strong bull run in those big techs. So watch that close. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM had, was pulling back yesterday and was doing uh, just really not looking all that good until we got that oil sector number. The um, petroleum status number came out and we had a pretty substantial decline in supplies. That was bullish for that oil sector and that helped push or hold um, IWM up. So we, re we turned back up. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna say that IWM probably had the most robust response yesterday or, or performance yesterday on the day, pushing back up and closing um, bullishly on the day and notice we're trying to pump it in the pre-market here to the upside as well so if those oil sector stocks can continue to hold up that will certainly help IWM and you can see now we are back above our 50-day moving average in here and we've kind of had a successful hold in here so no reason to believe that we couldn't move on up and test some resistance highs in this chart however I do think it, it, there's a lot of work for IWM to maybe break out here could do it but there is a lot of work that's going to be required for it to push through some of these resistance highs that have been in play since you know February of this year so watch that carefully then let's take a look at our um, VIX now our VIX had a little bit of, whoops, better get to the VIX. The VIX had a little bit of back and forth yesterday, kind of closing flat on the day. But notice we are slowly and slowly creeping down toward these lows in the chart. And we need to be doing, we need to see that because if we're going to be continuing to press new record highs, we really should see the, the fear of the market dropping out. So far, we haven't been able to break to new lows here in that fear index. And we're holding on in this area, but we're still well below our 50-day moving average. So no major fear here is coming into the market, but there is that concern as we approach these lows that we could find that support in this area and potentially bounce off. So just keep an eye on that. I don't think it's anything to get terribly worried about unless we really see something that changes in the market that um, changes sentiment here just a little bit that is right now just ragingly bullish. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, if there is a reason to be suggesting a little bit of caution, notice that we pushed yesterday right back up here into that bullish reversal zone. Now, we still have that possibility that we can push on through. Remember, we've got this data this morning that could find, give us that inspiration. So there would be no reason to believe that we couldn't go ahead and push on higher. But just note that we're reaching that overbought condition uh, for the short term of the market. And I wanna point out just how, how often this gives us the clue uh, as to when we're kind of reaching that topping point. So watch carefully here that possibility that if we catch a stumble in any way in any of these data points 
or if we just want to take some profits from this big long run to the upside, um, we could quickly shift to the downside. So just be prepared for that. Don't be complacent thinking the market can never fall. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 had a pretty substantial pullback in market breadth yesterday, but I don't think that hurt anything um, at, at all. As a matter of fact, we needed that little bit of rest here in the market after such a big booming move to the upside here lately. So as long as we maybe hold up in here, I think we're pretty good on that. Just resting, um, no particular problem there. and we are also reacting to this big downtrend. I'm not exactly sure what that means. We need a burst of bull of breadth, market breadth, if we're going to continue to push through these record highs in the market. If we start to fade here again, that could be just a little bit of a problem. So watch that closely here on T2101. And then last but not least, T2107, we've been talking about this, so I feel kind of obligated to continue to bring this up. T2107 um, perked up just a little bit yesterday, but let's take note that we still have quite a few stocks below that 200 day moving average. However, it is a bullish sign that we are holding in this area of support. So breaking that downtrend, getting a few more stocks to just slightly turn and hold above that 200 day moving average is a bullish sign. If we can continue that trend, that would be a good thing to see. If that falters and fails, however, that could um, could signal a problem for us. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, this is what I've been talking about. We do have quite a bit of data coming in this morning. And although we're getting the pre-market pump, and it's interesting that we can do that in, in the U.S. markets over and over and over again. We get this anticipation in the morning, just pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Well, at the same time, we've got Europe itself saying, oh, we're waiting on the data and European markets are almost dead flat this morning as they wait on that US data on jobs. But boy, that's not the case here. It's just push, push, push all the time. So kind of an interesting situation because if we were to stumble, we could see a quick reversal. And we've seen that the last few days where we, we pump up and there's that immediate selling that comes in and then we kind of flatten out for the day. So keep a close eye on that. And as we get these numbers this morning, we'll want to be taking a pretty close look at um, how the market responds. We've got international trading goods. Now, one of the things we've been able to do is pretty much ignore the fact that the U.S. has a trade deficit that is astounding. And so far, we've kind of been able to ignore that and perhaps we'll continue to do so today. So watch that number. And we also have the jobless claims. Now, last week we had those jobless claims come in higher than expected. And of course we saw the private payroll numbers come in far less than expected yesterday. But we have so far ignored that data. Um, so watch this number today. It will be kind of interesting. What we've seen the market do here recently if the if the data is good we react really bullishly if the data is bad we react bullishly so <laughs> kind of an interesting dynamic going on here so watch this number if this were number were to happen to miss that could be a problem for today if it comes in as expected or better than expected that could certainly encourage the bulls to push even harder to the upside. We're going to have productivity and costs and factory orders and that uh, natural gas report, but I doubt those will be major market movers for the day. Um, and then later on today, we've got the Fed balance sheet, as you can see. Uh, well, you might not be able to see that right down here at the bottom, but you know, eight and a quarter trillion dollars, nobody cares um, about that. Let's take a look at um, tomorrow here. Now, one of the things that is not an untypical situation, we'll get through this data this morning, we could see some price volatility, 
but don't be too surprised guys after we get that price volatility if we just kind of stagnate if the market just kind of slips into a choppy price action sideways move um, it could even be rather light in volume and the reason we would do that is we're waiting for that employment situation number on Friday morning this number certainly has the potential to move us and kind of is the the culmination of all of this data that's been coming in so watch that closely um, don't be too surprised if we get a little bit of choppiness through the day waiting for that number to come out um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar to today now our earnings calendar is one of the biggest days this week we had 35 companies um, on the list this morning a few notables that you want to pay attention to just keep in mind that some of these aren't exactly market moving reports but um, they are important to note um, so let's take a look at a few of those let's take a look at signet signet jewelers will be reporting looks like they had a really good report popping through resistance highs in the chart signet jewelers looking higher keep an eye on that one aeo american eagle will be reporting today it looks like we're getting just a little bit of a pop-up but i can't tell you if that's an earnings report in an overall downtrend here in this chart so yeah keep a close eye on that um, not exactly all that notable however avgo AVGO is something we might want to be paying attention to later on today. Broadcom, I believe, reports after the bell today. This has been in a breakout. We know Apple has been extremely strong, and Broadcom is a big supplier to Apple. So there is that big breakout there and this resting pullback heading into that earnings report. So watch that closely. We might be able to follow this trend or get that big pop that pushes us up. Keep an eye on AVGO. Um, we're also going to hear from companies like Hormel. Oops. This morning, um, some of these uh, food providers have been kind of back and forth in different places. Hormel looks like it's getting a negative reaction to earnings this morning. So keep an eye on that. We do have some more retail like Kirk. Um, reporting today keep an eye on that and we will also hear from Duluth um, so a little bit of retail reporting in there if you guys want the full list of notables please make sure and click the link just below the title of this video and it'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list of reports. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you feel the video was worthy if you could please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to grow and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that and a big shout out again to everyone who is supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link thank you guys so much you know um it's it, it's so humbling that uh, people take this kind of content that it's not full of prediction, it's not full of hype, um, just really close um, look at price action and how the market might respond to these things. And um, it's wonderful to see that response. So thank you so much, everyone. And the channel continues to grow, and I really, really appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence, and you have to make sure you understand the risk of every trade that you take. Do not and never, ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at this AMD. I've mentioned this a couple of times. And AMD popped right here, and just resting right here in this pattern. As you guys can see, I've placed a price alert on this chart. If we can catch some bullishness in this chart, may take an opportunity here to pick that up. Nice, concise price action, looking good. Just waiting for that entry to come to me in the trade. I don't like chasing stocks. I want to 
plan those trades ahead of time and I want those trades to come to me. And right now, just waiting to see if that can occur here on AMD. Other stocks that are looking really good, and there's quite a few of them out there. Um, you guys know that right way options, we, I talked about this when we're in BTU, and BTU just continues to surge. What a beautiful move up here in BTU, looking really, really good. Nice profits in that trade and looking good. And we also are holding a trade here in Mo, and Mo got a little bit of a pullback yesterday, which is not a big surprise because we ran into this resistance area. So I'm looking for a rest or pullback in here in um, Altria. And if that rest or pullback can hold some support in here, you might want to watch this for that next upside move as we engage trend out here. So watch carefully for that. Um, you might want to be taking a look at NVIDIA for some tech in here. NVIDIA has been moving in this channel. Notice that we've got this nice little resting pattern, that consolidating pattern right in here in that chart. Nobody wants to sell it. And if we can hold in this area, let's watch for that next opportunity that this could perk up and go to the upside. I've got to also put Microsoft um, in that category. Even though I think these big techs have just extended beyond any rational uh, PE ratio, it doesn't really seem to matter at this point um, we're still willing to buy just about anything so keep an eye on this Microsoft holding up in this pattern we could be reaching out here toward this trend this nice little resting consolidation in here looks productive so watch for that opportunity if that can push on higher starting to take a, a close look at some of the financials again take a look at JP Morgan now, JP Morgan, we've had a lot of chop, we've had a lot of uncertainty um, in these charts, but there's a little trend and um, we're resting at a higher low in here. So keep an eye on that. We pushed up, we kind of hit some price resistance in the chart, you know, struggling along here. But this little resting pullback, let's watch and see if that can continue to develop to the upside. I'm going to put Goldman Sachs in that category and well as well and actually eat an even little bit better price pattern in the fact that we push up here and we held right in on that support you can see we're getting a little push this morning on this in the chart so keep an eye on that it might be about ready to go we may have to rest a few more days but watch that carefully goldman starting to look up in the chart take a look at insurance um the insurance sector um, has been um, very, very strong here recently, and which is kind of surprising, you know, thinking about all the damages that they're going to be paying out for um, in um, the hurricane uh, damage in Louisiana and all up the coast. And if you take a, a close look at this, um, AIG, however, is looking very, very bullish and holding in a nice bullish pattern in this chart. And notice no one's wanted to sell it after this big move up and it looks like we might be ready to try and push on through to the upside i'd keep a close eye on that and last but not least this morning um, take a look at some of the um, casino areas now I, honestly i'm a little bit surprised by this with all of the concern and and talk out there and fear around um, the pandemic uh, continuing on in this Delta variant and all, all of the hypersensitivity that we've had to that. But take a look at when we have this really nice tried and true pattern where we break a downtrend, we hold some support levels in the chart. We consolidate, consolidating this move on when. Let's watch for that opportunity that when could start to perk out. And you can see this in, in um, there's some bullish patterns in other, um, other uh, casino charts as well. So keep a close eye on that. Looking pretty good here overall in um, some of those casino stocks. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very best of days today. I want to wish you great profits, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have a great one, everyone.